Yeah. So picture I had this dream, right? That I walked into this office building and a receptionist came downstairs and said, D1, your party is ready upstairs. Jacques Morel, the experience here from djbooth.net. I'm here in New York City and I just had the chance to sit down with Louisiana recording artist D1. To talk about his latest mixtape release, I hope they hear me volume two, which dropped on djbooth.net. Let's check it out. I'm the brokest person in the room, yo. But money don't matter here because I'm rich with ideas. First off, I grew up listening to all of y'all. From the block is how to get rich to blueprint, I bought it all. I paid 20 for the block is how that peaches went. And hope I bought volume two because I love so um, this is your fifth project. I hope they hear me yeah. coming out on DJBooth.net today, actually, yes. uh, March 1st. Yes. So tell me about it. What can we expect? I mean, the first thing that people can expect is original production. That's what sets this one apart from, uh -huh. I hope they hear me, volume one and volume 1.5. For people like you recorded on other people's beats. Yeah, exactly. yeah. I was just spitting over industry beats just to show people that I can rap, you know? Mm -hmm. That's all because the beats made them pay attention. Mm -hmm. So this time I had to go in and you know, use my ear to pick out beats that I that I enjoyed and that mm -hmm. I felt like the fans would enjoy. Mm -hmm. And also, I approached this whole CD like an album. I mean, the only reason it's called a mixtape is because I'm giving it out for free. Other than that, <laughs> from top to bottom, conceptually, mm -hmm. this is an album. For how, real. how do you keep your uh, southern influence into your music? I mean, we can obviously hear it in the accent. Yeah. And, you know, our accents are clashing right now. Yeah. But how do you keep the southern influence in music? Because I, I still live down south. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, everything that I do is influenced by where I'm from, New Orleans. So it doesn't matter where I live, if I was to ever move to New York, like all of my experiences as a young man that shaped me into who I am come from New Orleans, Louisiana. And I mean, even as far as my beat selection, you know, yeah. I, I like to, uh, the J50 and Weezy track. Actually. Yeah, yeah, big track, oh, very big track. Very big track, and if you listen to the production style, you know, it's not heavy with 808s and yeah. with you and, and snare drums. Uh -huh. Nah, it's, it's really, it's a really soulful sound and mellow track, you know. Can you tell me what went into that, that track, 50 Cent uh, and Weezy? Because I remember when I was listening to it, you're talking to each one of them, yeah. but but I know, why? Why am I talking to him? I was yeah. talking to him because, you know, I wrote that track when I was a middle school teacher. Mm -hmm. By me being a teacher, I got to see every day, every single day, man, all these kids who were just misguided, you know? So I was like, wow, some rappers, I think, just don't get it. <laughs> they, don't, they, they don't get it, they don't know what their influence is, they don't know what their power is, and this is just a hustle to them. But other rappers are obviously intelligent enough to have built em empires. Mm -hmm. And J50 and Weezy have all built empires. If so I know they get it. So I was like, man, if I only had the chance to sit down and talk to them, what would I tell them? You know what I'm saying? Uh, and I know that track is 300,000 views on on face, uh, YouTube. YouTube. Have you have you had any chance to talk to? Man, well, Jay all right. So this is the story. Jay Z, <laughs> not at all. I've never met Jay. Yeah. Uh, you know, never had any contact with him uh, personally. Lil Wayne, we're from the same city, so we so we know yeah. a good bit of the same people, and our our circles kind of overlap. And um, I've heard that he actually saw the video, and I heard that he was. Like kind of speechless when he saw it. Really? That's what I heard, man. Now I don't know if it's true or not, but that's what I heard. So that that was pretty interesting to me, you know. And um, and as far as Fifty Cent, I met Fifty last year. He came to Louisiana, uh -huh. and I gave him a CD with the song on it. And I said, Fifty, I did a song about you. I told him. You know? So I'm I'm looking forward to the aftermath of uh of hopefully being able to sit down with these brothers because. You know, they're so huge in stature and everything. Yeah. And my goal is to get just as big, if not bigger, than all three of them. You know, <laughs> definitely. And and obviously, once I hit that point, I realize that people are going to pull these interviews up mm -hmm. and go back and say, oh, look what D1 was saying back before he had it. So now that he does have it, let's see what he does with the opportunity. So, like we said, you're, you're a high school, middle school teacher. Yeah. Do you still keep in contact with your students? Do they still check out your music? I do, man. And my students, they, they, they check out my music and they, they're quick to be critical. So if I come, if I come, <laughs> if I come weak on a song, man, I got a couple students back home who I know they'll hit me up. They still call me Mr. Augustine. So they're like, Mr. Augustine, man, that track was whack. You know what I'm saying? So you got to come correct, man. Mm -hmm. So, uh, But I'm going to let you get out of here before you freeze to death. It's yeah. very cold. Um, I'm Jacques Morel, The Experience, and I'm signing out. I was just here with uh, Louisiana rapper D1. Make sure you guys check out his mixtape, which just dropped today. I hope they hear me volume two over on djbooth.net. 
And as always, I hope you guys have a great day. That same media is not saying we should stop the violence. Ancestors of ours are screaming from the grave. Cause physically we free, but we still some mental slaves. Ancestors of ours are screaming from the grave. Cause physically we free, but we still some mental slaves. So what y'all think?